Highlander. We all know what Highlander's about, but the question is, is it worth watching today? Theme song. Kyle Reviews! Kyle Reviews! If you do want to watch Highlander, see the links in the description below. Now, growing up in the 80s, somehow I never actually got around to seeing Highlander. I was familiar with the premise and all, there can be only one, and I saw a few episodes of the TV show back in the day, but I never saw any of the movies. And I always heard the second one was a train wreck, and I'd like to watch it at some point, so I'm like, I'll watch the first one. So, like I said, we all know what this is about. There can be there are immortals, and they kill each other, and if you cut off the head, if, if one of them cuts the head off the other one, they get power from it. So, is it really worth watching today? Well, maybe. Like I said, if you usually don't know, uh, it stars Connor McLeod. He was born in the Scottish Highlands way back, and he's an immortal. Sean Connery shows up. Goody tings. To train him, there's uh, Clancy Brown's the bad guy. There can be only one. And now he, we are in the modern day. And Clancy Brown is back. We find out the quickening is happening where that's where there can be only one comes up. Somehow, allegedly, these immortals have spontaneously been created. Now they're drawn together and to fight to the death. And they're all men, too, which is weird. But apparently there was a TV show, Highlander, The Raven, which had a woman, but it was apparently terrible. I don't know. I will say, having seen the TV show, I was kind of familiar with the thing. With the format, there's flashbacks, and then there's the present day, and somehow the flashbacks tie into the storyline. I didn't know, though, that the movie was like that. I kind of assumed it was in chronological order. So, the TV show didn't even come up with that themselves. Um, in the modern day, you know, what did get me interested in the very beginning... He is at the our immortal Connor is at a professional wrestling match and the fabulous Freebirds are there. So come on, that's that those are awesome. Um But honestly, I mean, do you really do you really care about the, the milieu? Do you care about you want to see Sean Connery being Sean Connery? I you know, I don't know. I definitely am not disappointed. I'm not mad I will add it but do I see myself ever watching it again probably not do I recommend it really not really so I'm going to give it one thumb up the phrase is well known and it kind of spells it out so maybe skip this one 